Hello, guys. This week, our attention was drawn to the transfer of James Rodriguez. The Colombian midfielder left Everton and unexpectedly left Europe to perform for Qatar's Al Rayyan. Why did the lad fail in the English Premier League and decide to disappear from the radar? We will tell you about that in just a minute. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and write in the comments below what you think about James's choice. And now we are to start. We will skip the years of James's performances for Real Madrid and Bayern Munich, as this is already a closed chapter. Everyone knows why Rodriguez hasn't got used to playing in either of the two top clubs. However, at the start of last season, he became an Everton player having promising results, showing signs of a career restart. During the 2020-21 campaign, in the first five matches of the Premier League, James scored three goals and delivered three assists. Thanks to his contributions, the Toffees earned a lot of points and even were top of the table for a while. Although in December, the situation got worse. James got injured and missed two weeks. Then in March and May, he was sent back to the infirmary for the same period of time. Due to these three unforeseen pauses, he lost his prime condition and was no longer noticeable for the rest of the season, as well as all of Everton's squad, which ended up in 10th place. This is where the problems for the Colombian began. After a while, James was wounded right in the heart this time. At the end of May, the Colombian Football Federation announced that the midfielder was excluded from the national team. Moreover, he was not allowed to participate in the Copa America due to poor physical condition. Rodriguez was simply crushed by the matter. With surprise, I received a statement from the coaching staff stating that they do not count on me and wishing me a full recovery. A recovery that I have already made and in which I have sacrificed a lot. The above fills me with deep disappointment for what it means to me playing for my country. Not receiving the trust of the coaching staff breaks with everything and causes me enormous pain. Rodriguez wrote on his official social media accounts. What can we say? He went from the main hero of his country at the 2014 World Cup to persona non grata. Performances at the club level also went flat. In June, head coach Carlo Ancelotti left Everton, and without his beloved mentor, James ceased to understand why he should stay longer. Because it was the Italian who convinced him to join the Scousers. Later on, Rodriguez himself admitted that the conditions at England were not suitable for him, so he accepted Everton's offer only for the sake of resuming his work with the Italian. I'll say with all sincerity that if Carlo weren't here, I wouldn't have come. I'll say it with all my heart, he was one of the reasons for which I came. The fact that Carlo is here was fundamental. ESPN Colombia quoted today's character. James was unlikely to admit that Ancelotti would leave his post after just one season. And when that actually happened, the club's future for the Colombian became even more dim. In all fairness, James is not innocent in this story. He showed disrespect to Everton and, for example, on a Twitch stream in August, he told his viewers the following. On the weekend, I will not play. I don't even know who Everton is playing. I don't even know. Can you please tell me? And then he added, I don't know where I'm going to play. Everyone has to be at a place they're wanted. With such questions, the playmaker showed that he no longer considered himself part of the team and this, of course, did not help his reputation. Even taking into account his magnificent skills, Everton's management turned their backs on the player and began to look for ways to sell him in order to unload the payroll and remove from the team the one who no longer wants to be in his place. The fans couldn't argue with that either. James continued to trample himself in the mud.
In addition to the fact that Carlo Ancelotti left Everton, the midfielder was done with the Toffees after the appointment of Rafael Benitez. James had already crossed paths with the Spanish coach in Real Madrid, but had very little playing time with him because he could not find a common language with the specialist. Spanish newspapers constantly insisted that Benitez had never seen Rodriguez as a player who could be involved in his starting eleven at the Madrid system. And the player, from his side, believed that the mistrustful manager disrespected his work, not allowing him to show himself in action. There were also rumours that Rafa was not satisfied with the playing qualities of James. He was not suitable for Benitez's strict, disciplined football and needed the freedom as a playmaker which Benitez could not provide him, based on his model of football. By the time the Spanish coach was brought to Everton, James probably knew right away that it was time for him to pack his bags. His position in the club was shaken more than ever before. In the final weeks of the summer transfer window, agent George Mendes began looking for a new club for the Colombian, hoping for an ideal scenario in which James would follow Ancelotti and become a Real Madrid player once again. However, the trouble is that Carlo decided not to bring the guy with him, as reported by a reliable journalist for Marca, Miguel Angel Diaz. James understood what's going on and confirmed that in one of his interviews. I don't think Ancelotti is going to take me. The cycle for me with Real Madrid is closed. I don't think I'll go there. After that solution was put aside, Rodriguez and Mendes did not have other options, as the Colombian was no longer an attractive unit in the European transfer market. His scandalousness, high salary and constant injuries were repulsive factors for big clubs. The only remaining move for James was a transfer to Istanbul, Başakşehir. Still, negotiations with the Turkish club did not end on a good note either. They had to accept the final offer from the Qatari Al Rayyan. The official salary amount of the player at the new location has not yet been disclosed. But does anyone doubt James leaving Europe for just the sake of good money? Obviously, a player of his talents has nothing to do outside the strongest football continent. But he decided to choose the easiest path, and at the age of 30, said goodbye to the top-level performances. Only his most loyal fans will follow him in Qatar, and we can only regret that the Colombian did not want to reveal his full potential in having a decent Premier League run for longer. He was more than capable, though. In general, over the past year, James was very unlucky, and you can sympathize with him, while he really was the reason for many failures himself because of unprofessionalism. It's rather sad that his star has finally faded away. Friends, support our new Top Football News project, and be sure to subscribe to this channel. We need just a little bit more to hit 100,000 subscribers. Let's do it! The Top Football Channel was with you. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye bye.